Um, Madam Chairwoman and members of the committee. Um, I'm Dr. Ingrid Skopp. I'm a board certified OBGYN from San Antonio. In the past 29 years, I have delivered over 5,000 babies. Each of these children has made a tremendous impact on the lives of the people surrounding them, although many of them were not intentionally conceived. The Texas Heartbeat Act has reminded us of an inconvenient fact. A month after conception, a fetus develops a heartbeat which is universally recognized as a sign of life. Nearly 50 years ago, the Supreme Court contended it could not resolve the difficult question of whether this was a life. Today, we cannot plead ignorance. We have all seen ultrasounds, pictures of the unborn, demonstrating he is just like us, only smaller and more in need of our care. The abortion debate has been obscured by euphemisms that allow us to mask the horror of the action. We have created a class of humans considered unworthy of life on their own merits, valuable only if someone else desires them. This is the definition of genocide. We need to re-examine this as a scientific and human rights issue, not through the lens of political partisanship or social engineering. The Women's Health Protection Act seeks to codify Roe. Do you all know what Roe does? Roe allows abortion at any time in pregnancy if it can be justified as benefiting the health of the woman. Health is broadly defined as physical, emotional, social, familial, and age factors, encompassing almost every stated reason for abortion. This legislation will hurt, not protect women, because maternal mortality is 76 times higher after an abortion at five months as compared to two. Researchers affiliated with the abortion industry have ignored known limitations in the voluntary U.S. data collection, publishing papers reassuring us that abortion is very safe, but better quality international records linkage studies demonstrate frequent complications after abortion. We did not believe the tobacco industry when it told us their product was safe. Shouldn't we be skeptical of similar claims from the abortion industry? About 86,000 abortions occur yearly after the first trimester when the unborn human might feel pain, and about 11,000 occur after he can survive separated from his mother. We are one of only seven countries worldwide that will allow an elective abortion after viability, even though two-thirds of Americans support restrictions after the first trimester. A complicated DNA dismemberment abortion may cause uterine damage or incomplete tissue removal, leading to hemorrhage, infection, and even death. I will never forget a young Hispanic mother clinging to my hand in the ICU, pleading with me not to let her die as her body succumbed to overwhelming sepsis from a late-term abortion after Roe. Subsequent pregnancies are also at risk if instrumental uterine damage leads to abnormal placental attachment or cervical damage causes preterm delivery. Abortion harms the emotional health of some women, leading to depression, anxiety, substance abuse, and even suicide. Surely we can acknowledge that not every woman will benefit from this decision. I have seen many women coerced into abortion. A young black patient tearfully recalled how her mother forced her to undergo an abortion at five months gestation. Now pregnant again, her boyfriend told her she could not return home until she ended her pregnancy. She strongly desired both of her children. Does she have a choice? Children born to unmarried mothers have increased from 11 to 40% of all births since Roe, and this number reaches 67% in the black community. The narrative of her body, her choice, has apparently led many men to believe that the decision to bear a child belongs to the woman alone, causing them to neglect their responsibilities as fathers. In addition to my full-time work as an OB-GYN, I am the medical director of four pregnancy centers in Texas providing free ultrasounds, STI testing and treatment, and resources to women in, preg in crisis pregnancies. Any Women Can in San Antonio also provides free mental health care. The Sources Clinics in Houston and Austin provide full women's health care, including contraception, and counseling to promote strong relationships and healthy sexual behavior. Abortion is not a choice to be celebrated, but a decision to be grieved. Children are not a burden to be disposed of, but a beautiful addition to the life of a family and society. Our heroes are people who persevere in adversity. Bearing and raising children is not easy, but without this important work, a society cannot endure. Let us give motherhood the support and respect it deserves 
and stop promoting the destruction of innocent human life. Thank you.